everyone, this is Eileen from Eileen Stuffs, and today we will be working our budget with our July 1st paychecks. There is two of them. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I am a cash budgeter and stuffer here on YouTube, and I am working on paying off debt, as well as building up an emergency and sinking funds. So if that is something that you're interested in and you haven't already, please consider subscribing below. This is the first time I have two checks and it is more money than I'm used to and it's throwing me off. So I'm just gonna be real. I kind of ran through the numbers and I'm still like, am I doing something wrong? We're gonna look at this, but yeah, I hope I don't do anything wrong here. It is July 1st. I'm filming this on Friday, so it's still the 30th, but you guys will see it on Sunday, but I did get paid. So my first paycheck, I'm going to put one as like still my main job. That check was $2,325.75. My second paycheck was from my new job. That check was $573.75. So, I'm like, where do I, do I stop here? <laughs> um, and then add the other stuff in, I think so. So I'm gonna stop here because I'm gonna add these two up. So it was two, three, two, five, 75 plus five, 73, 75. So my total pay, I just want to keep track of this, for the first was $2,899.50. Okay, we got to take out taxes from that. And I did make some purchases because I got my first paycheck a little earlier. I just like needed to buy food. I needed to buy stuff for work. I did withdraw about 150 because I just figured, well, the cash is in there, I'll use it. So the first thing I need to do is minus that 150, 43 that came out of this paycheck. Because I know I do not want to forget about that. So that leaves me with a rest pay of $2,749.07. And there is rollover, but I did add up what I, my bills this month are gonna come out to 1,208. And I'm like, well, yeah, so if you take out 1,208, that still leaves like well over a thousand dollars. Let's take out taxes. I think I'm gonna take out $800 for taxes. I wanted to throw a chunk towards estimated taxes. So if I take out 800, that leaves me with $1,949.07. So then I also have rollover in the bank of $83.53. I add that to this. This leaves me with a total of $2,032.60. I just realized I used my whole little thing just to do this. Next month, I'm gonna be like squishing it somewhere else. I have $2,032.60, that's my money. And then my roommate, his part was $836.78. When I add his in, the total amount that we have for July budget is $2,869.38. That should be right. We are starting with 2,869.38. And now we are going to bring this down to a zero budget. So first we have rent, 147.041. So that brings us down to $1,398.97. The electric bill is 64.89. So 133.408. The gas bill was $17.93. Uh, 
Um, water, water is 7531, so that brings us down to $1,240.84. Internet doesn't come out till next time. I just have to minus my excess portion so that stays in the bank. My phone bill, I went over. Oh, I got charged $15 for over, so my phone bill this month is $136.79, and I was really confused why. Then I realized when I was at the gym, Working out, the YouTube music was on video instead of the downloaded music. So I think it charged, it basically used my two megabytes of data that I have. So that's why that's a little bit more this month. But that brings us down to 1,104.05. My health insurance is 50.70. So now we have 10.53. 35, uh, do you have my one credit card that comes out that's 30, that's 10, 23, 35. I have one student loan, 86, 58. So that brings us down to nine, 36, 77. I still have my violin. I keep, I'm going back and forth between what I should do with that. I think I realized that I should just return it because even if I save this $33 every month, I could actually save towards just buying the violin at this point because six months of my payments goes towards the purchase. So I'm kind of thinking I should just return it and if I still set aside 33 a month because I've been doing it anyway, I could come up with a difference and buy the violin. So I don't know, but I still have it because I've been having a hard time letting it go. Um, but that does bring me down to 903.77. I'm going to do $50 for my snowball payment this month since I had a little more. That'll be $853.77. And this is extra because the regular payment's not due till the 15th. I do have some more easy pays. I have $802.50. I decided to leave $70 for gas. So that brings me down to $732.50. That's kind of my gas for like a whole month, but I figure why not? Then I want to minus out the $22.50 for the internet. So this still leaves me $710, which seems, this is where I was like, uh, okay, that just seems like a lot. I mean, I guess I had 653 before. I had more, I think I, was, I wasn't taking out the 800 for taxes because I kind of ran through these numbers and I was ending up with like $1,500. I'm like, how can I still have $1,500 left? But I just realized it was because I forgot to take out taxes. I just added up these numbers and then went to town. Okay, that makes sense. So, I wanna do a few things. I want to leave a chunk in the bank and throw some into my bank savings account to start building up a little rent fund. I'm actually going to leave $400 in the bank. And about $150 I'll leave in my checking account and but what would that leave me? 250 I'm gonna put in my savings account to start building up a little buffer. That leaves me with cash of 310. I don't want that 10 necessarily because I wanna just go to the bank. I mean, just withdraw cash. So maybe I'll leave 410 in the bank and I'll take out 300 for cash. And we're gonna make this really simple. So food, if I have 300 in cash, Food and groceries, I'm going to do 175. Which again, I'm like, then I'm gonna end up with a five. I'm trying to not, okay, let's just say 180 so I can take out what I need. So just cause I'm gonna go to the ATM again. I'll probably go tonight, but it's like Friday night, the bank's not open and I just wanna get the cash because I do wanna go food shop. I'm like, do I have to go food shopping tomorrow? It would be nice to go food shopping tomorrow. So I'd like to have the, you know, all that stuff in there. So we're gonna take out 180 for food. And that leaves me with 120. Miscellaneous. Well, again, I'll keep it simple. I'll do a 20. So that brings me down to 100. So I guess I am doing sinking funds because I have still have $100 left. Let me write out my sinking funds real quick and I'll be right back. So I have 100. I guess what I'm wondering is if I do denominations, I only end up with 20s. Can I even, I don't even know if I can 
break 20s at this point. So I might just have to pick like a fair few envelopes that each get a 20 just to make my life easier. Yeah, and it's a holiday weekend, so I don't even know if the banks will be open Monday. Okay, so basically a few envelopes will each get a 20 and that's just how it's gonna roll. So bills for sure, I almost wanna give bills a 40 because now I'm thinking of, again, like saving money for the winter. I might give bills a 40 this time because that's really what where those you know utility bills rent would come out of so that brings me down to 60. this is what i'm thinking i have like basically three 20s left so i think i'm going to skip all of this i'm going to put 20 towards my car because i just like having that it's an emergency fund for my car if i need gas if i need something for my car if i, I need an oil change so i just like to have money in there and then i'm going to put 20 towards my mom to save up for another payment that leaves me 20 and i think i'll do um the savings challenges i'll throw in the 20. And then I'll try to throw in some next paycheck and do a little bit of a savings challenge video for July. Okay, and then that should bring me down to zero. But essentially, I'll just get out a whole bunch of 20s. I'll get out $300 in 20s and we're gonna have a 20s party <laughs> while we cash stuff. And I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm highly suspicious of what I just did. <laughs> Hope you're having a wonderful weekend and a wonderful Sunday. Happy 4th of July, and I will see you if you're in the States, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.